Welcome to episode 4 of our saga, Spirit of Adventure cruise vlog series. Join us as we arrive in Zeebrugge and visit the beautiful city of Bruges. We also show you more of the ship and we visit one of the best speciality restaurants we've ever been to at sea. Morning, morning. Morning all. So um, we are up early and the alarm, well, the phone went off at seven o'clock. I don't know, we did ask for a wake up call, but they must be psychic, mustn't they, Claudine? Yeah, must be something. <laughs> <laughs> so we're up early because we've arrived in Zeebrugge, or Zeebrugge, um, and we are off on an excursion. We've had a, another lovely night's sleep um, in our comfy bed, aren't we, Paulie? No. I, well, you, you didn't. I didn't sleep well at all last night. Nothing to do with the bed, I think. It's just uh, there was a, there's a light on in the bathroom that I can't work out to turn off, and there's a bit of a ooh noise, which is some sort of fan thing. What it was, yeah. we've been saying to for Paul, we've got so many doors in our suite, which is lovely, but he insisted on not closing the door to the walk in wardrobe, and there's a light in the bathroom that just comes through, and he, he was too lazy to go to bed to turn it off, wouldn't yeah, you? To, to close it. I mean, you'd have thought if you'd have had sort of like a loving wife that she would have done it for you <laughs> even though it's my side of the bed yeah. anyway so we're in belgium so um we're just getting ready to get off um and we've had our breakfast delivered which you can see the debris over there <laughs> Uh, again, which is great in it. The service we've had on the ship has been great, awesome. Yeah. Um, we've got Darwin um, looking after us, our butler, and we've also got Patrick. And we woke up today, look at this, and I opened the curtains and it's got a little no good morning from your butler darwin your cabin steward patrick just little touches like that are just uh, fabulous aren't they paul they are they are so we're gonna um <coughs> let me show you the picturesque port of Zeebrugge or Zeebrugge very very industrial <laughs> um but just had a nice little sailing with a nice sun, sunset, sunrise. And you can see all the coaches there waiting to, to whisk us away. We're off on an extended tour to, to Bruges, uh, which we booked um, as one of the complimentary excursions, isn't it, Paul? Yes. Um, so we're off for a little bit walk around tour of Bruges. And then we've got some free time on our own. So um should be a good day, shouldn't it? Well, I hope so. Yeah. Uh, it's cold out there, but it's dry and the blue sky. So uh, we've been blessed with good weather so far, considering it's November in Northern Europe. So um, as you see, Paul still needs to wake up, don't you? Is that where we are, is that Northern Europe? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Paul's geography is rubbish, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Yes, to Northern Europe. <laughs> To the North Cape Bar to meet the excursion yes. lady. For those of you whose geography is as bad as mine, here's a few maps to show you exactly where we are. Paul's been silly because he's forgot his hat. I bought two hats, two woolly hats. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to keep my ears warm, are they? No, I might have to buy a new one, Paulie. Right, we're going on. Bruges, here we come. So, we're waiting for the bus, which is over there, look. Oh, we're on. But look at the lovely spirit of adventure. She's a beauty. She is a beauty. Since during your free time in Bruges, you can call that number, but normally you will not need it. There's a time difference between Belgium and Britain. We are one hour ahead, so now it's 9.15. So all the times that I will mention will be Belgian time. So we are at the harbour of Zeebrugge. And Zeebrugge means Bruges on the sea. So it's Belgium's second biggest harbour after Antwerp. And the harbour employs about 20,000 people. So, we've just got the coach, we've got our, uh, our little headsets, we've got our earphones in, and we're off, aren't we, Paulie? Pardon? <laughs> oh, I can't get it back in now. So we're off on a tour of Bruges, we're in number seven. It's funny talking, she's talking in my ear. Ah. Isn't that where everybody talks in your ear? Yes, I suppose. So, we're heading into town, 
across the Red Bridge. Bruges is the picturesque city of Old Flanders and is the capital of the Flemish region of Belgium. Along with Amsterdam and St. Petersburg, it is sometimes referred to as the Venice of the North. As well as canals, Bruges is also famous for its cobbled streets, market squares, historical churches, chocolate, beer and waffles. Right, so we've just done the included tour on Saga Spirit River Adventure in Bruges, which was really good, wasn't it, the walking tour, Paul? Quite long, but actually quite factual, and we learnt quite yeah, a lot, didn't we? Good. What have you learnt? I've learnt that my legs are hurting, <laughs> and my back. Yes. <laughs> uh, there was loads and loads of history mm, it's, Yeah, it's a very fun, beautiful place. Yeah, yeah, it is. So we've now stopped um, at a place called Delice. Delice. Um, so yeah, so we're just gonna have a drink and um, add some food. So Paul has gone for a beer, the recommended from the, the guy there. Um, and I've gone for a surprise by Sauvignon Blanc, which is six euros. So it's not too bad, is it, Paulie? So I just have to show you what the menu like in Belgium. They're all sorts, aren't they, Paul? Yeah. Starter soups, soup of the day, steaks, Flemish rabbit, Ooh. burgers, lamb chops, fish and chips, I scampion. So, like a Bill's place. Thank you. Lovely, thank you very much. In the blank. So, Paulie is, um, Going for fish and chips. <laughs> so you hasn't had it for 24 hours, have you? No, I should go <laughs> But I'm going to be adventurous and try some Flemish beef stew. Look at this. My Flemish stew has arrived and it looks absolutely stunning. Paul's jealous because he's got fish and chips and mine's better, isn't it, Pauline? Well, we don't know that, do we? Well, I've just tried a little bit of beef and it's tender, <laughs> beautiful and so tasty. Well, we don't know that from what initial feelings are. It might have changed. It smells delicious. Right then. Right then. Right then. So we've just stay stayed. We've just had um, a bite to eat in a place called Delish. You can see it there in Bruges and it was absolutely fantastic. It was amazing. Superb service. I had the beef stew which was just to die for. Body had fish and chips. We had two glasses of wine and two beers and it was 50 euros mm. which actually I don't think is too bad at all is it? Yeah. So um, yeah so if you're coming to Bruges and you've had some good food and some lovely service make sure you visit Delice. Anybody who knows me knows that I have a strong dislike of shopping but today things were different. So, we've just stopped at a chocolate shop, look what we've bought. Get him out, Paulie. Get him out. <laughs> Jean de Bruges. A map. Yeah, some lovely chocolate luck. And we've got, this is going to be for our cup of coffee evenings, caramel and sea salt. And we've just been given these free samples, which you can't see very much, but they're like little, they look like Hershey's Kisses, don't they? But they were just absolutely soft, gooey. They are. What are Hershey's Kisses? They look like little twirly tops. Oh, no, you're don't twirly tops. <laughs> yeah, exactly what you mean. Uh, so we're just waiting for our guide to come pick us back up um, at the meeting point. So we've just stopped um, for, for a drink with a nice fire. Because it's not very warm today, is it, Paulie? Mm. And we're going to head back to the ship. Yes, we are. Mm. Mm. And then I'm going to have, have, have to lie okay. on the bed. Because <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> we have walked a lot. I'm probably one of the youngest people on the Saga ship. And I've probably slept the most. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Paulie's ordered a... a bird. That's what they tell me in the restaurant. It's really strong. How much is it? 
percent. 8.4%. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to help Polly Morgan back on the bus. So you can take a slurp of it then? It's got chocolate on it, Paul. Chocolate and honey. So it's notes of honey, almonds and chocolate. Oh. <laughs> 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 What's strong or it's chewy? Chewy. <laughs> oh, is it taste of chocolate though? Speak up. It tastes, it tastes strong. <laughs> strong like gold. Oh, will you not be finishing it then? Yeah, do you want to <laughs> No, I don't. I'll stick with my um, good old Sauvignon Blanc. I think Paul is a bit burnt out after all his walking and his strong beer. <laughs> so we are back home in our room. Oh, we've got a letter, Paulie. Mm. Looks like a bell. Is it? Oh. oh. And back in our lovely suite. We've had a fab day in Bruges, haven't we, Pauline? Oh. We've got our chocolate. We've got a settee, but also we've got this bed here. Oh, what's this? A good life is a collection of happy memories. Correct his name. May it be filled with cheer. Time for yourself and industry. Apply this to the spa. Give towards any 50 minute or body treatment for reservation. Please visit the spa. Wow, how lovely! What do you think about that? What's that about? Disembarkation. Oh no, mm -hmm. disembarkation already. But we've got um, one more day to go. Anyway, I'm not going to think about that, are we, Paulie? But I think what Paulie's thinking about, isn't it? What are you pointing at? Just that. <laughs> Snoozy time. Yes. Mm. I'm burnt right Yeah, now. it's been a fab day. We've had fabulous time in Bruges. Definitely recommend getting off um, on one of the escorted tours. Um, half an hour on the coach, wasn't it really, poorly? Yeah. Uh, what have you all have seen? Because I would have showed you exactly what we've done. So now we're going to just chill out in our suite and um, wait for sail away and probably have a little bit of snoozy time. And then a bath. I just turn that off, mate, because the trousers are coming off now. Oh. <laughs> Come on, you know you wanna. <laughs> oh, dear. I think Bruges has um, finished him off. But anyway, our butler's just been and delivered some ice and also our canopies. So we get some canopies and some ice delivered around about sort of half, four, five every day, um, which we asked. Well, we didn't ask for the canopies, but we asked for the ice just so we could have a pre sort of dinner drink in the room. Um, and look, that looks like a ham fella. That looks like a brie. That looks like some sort of fishy fella. And that looks like a cheesy one as well. So we've had different ones every day, actually, and they've been lovely. Um, not sure about that, but we'll... Uh, I'm sure Paul will be up in a minute. He'll, he'll smell the food. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're just waiting to go. We're going to just sit, watch the sail away, and then go and meet um, John and Dean as we've got our meal booked at Kukuri tonight. As we had booked the spa for tomorrow, we needed to head off to reception to register our credit card. Not working. Oh, it is. Temperature 35.8, so that's fine. And 36.4. Mmm. So, the living room. And then if we go straight through here, we get to the reception. What was that? <laughs> Is he banning me from the credit card?
The living room, as you can see, is a beautiful area featuring a central bar that serves sandwiches, cakes, cookies, ice cream, teas and coffees, which of course are all complimentary, and is open from 7am until 11pm. Let's take you up this beautiful staircase to deck 7, where you'll find the library, the card room and the craft room. I love all this blue. Yeah, it's nice. The library also features a complimentary tea and coffee station. So we are in Kakuri and look at the table that we've got. Right in the corner, isn't it, Paulie? It's perfect. I like to say, nobody puts a baby in the corner. <laughs> but tonight they did. Yes. Well, that's enough about me. <laughs> yes, so we're chuffed to bits me in. Smells, aren't they? Absolutely amazing. So here's the menu. So this is um, starters here, main dishes. Wow, and sides and something sweet to finish. So, what are you thinking, Paul? Um, I'm starting to comprehend mm. the menu, yeah, King scallops, beef pakoras. <gasps> Nepal lamb chops. Wow. So the pre starters arrived with apparently that's the hottest sauce in the world. <laughs> I can confirm that because I just Have you just tried it? Have you? Is it? Is it good? Nice though. Nice fire. No, it's like fire. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got like hummus, we've got chicken and different breads. Um, that was absolutely phenomenal. But I've got to say, this sauce, which is Nepalese spicy sauce, is hot, hot, isn't it? Oh, Paul's trying to be brave now. Uh, yeah. Ooh. I've already tasted the thing. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! But that there, man, uh, this mango one. Yeah, beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, the mango. Well, it was all good, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. I haven't tried this because you said it's just like. Um, but it's, it's like rather. Yeah, mm. yeah. um, but that's the coolant. Mm. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's to you have some. But I do, I do like the mango chocolate. Mm. Yeah, very good. So, first impressions of Kakuri then, Paulie Morgan? Mm, cheers. The first impression will be when you're walking in. Yeah. Mm. Well, of course, as soon as you walk in, then you can see the aromas. About, food is all about the senses. It is. It is. This is already a, a flavour sensation. So, these are our starters. John's gone for the scallops, isn't it? Correct. Is it crab cake? It's leek and potato. And Lent. Leek. Yeah, yeah, so. Mm. I've gone for a chicken broth with dumplings and stuff. And Paul's gone for what was it for? Me? I've got beef pakoras. So as you can see from the plate, John, you that was just uh Oh <laughs> yeah, I got wars like it's absolutely incredible. Right. It is. For the first time ever, my, my father's without words. That's <laughs> your this moment. <laughs> Lamb chops was just divine. John's prawns. Oh, <laughs> John's still lost for words oh, yeah, as well. I'm not for words. I'm not usually stuck for words, but just absolutely incredible. Yeah, and yours was awesome, wasn't it, Paulie? Mm. 
fantastic. Mm. Again, obviously, service. Yeah. Oh, service. Yeah. service is amazing. They explain everything. Is, they explain everything. They bring stuff out. They explain everything. They explain what's spicy, what's not spicy, what you have to do with this, what you have to do with that. So even if you're a complete beginner. Yes. That's what I was going to say. If you're worried about spice, yeah. don't be. But they put you at ease. Yeah. Because a lot of people maybe wouldn't come here just like, oh, I don't know about um, Nepalese. Yeah. But well, we've all. Ironically, we've all had a different starter, we've all had a different main course. Yeah. And I don't feel that any of us has chosen bad. No. No, you're right. Great. Oh my god, Kukuri, is this the best speciality restaurant at sea today? Could be, couldn't it, Paulie Morgan? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Right, so something sweet to finish. You've got carrot sponge with star and easy, Hindu sweet dumplings, Indian brioche bread and pudding, pudding and kapha lime kool -Aid. So Paul is going to go for the dumplings. No, I'm going to have the lamb chops. <laughs> John's going for the bread and butter pudding. I'm going for carrot cake. <laughs> Second chance? Sweet dumplings. Which is not only my nickname for you, it's also a <laughs> <laughs> So look at this. So this is not any carrot cake. This is just a maze balls. It's M&S carrot cake. It, I don't think it is. Oh. I think it's better than that. It's uh, that's brioche bread and butter pudding. And look at Paulie's balls. Yeah, hey, look at them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just adjust my napkin. Yeah. Yeah. Look at their glistening, aren't they, Paul? They are. I've never seen them so shiny. Oh, my balls are shiny. Fair play. It smells amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, as you can see from the all the food left on the plate, <laughs> that was just amazing, wasn't it, Paul? And Paul's balls were hot, weren't they? He wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Yeah. But absolutely phenomenal. Um, well, tell me, really, if you come on Saga Spirit of Adventure, you've got to come to Kakuri because it is just, well, the service, food is just unbelievable. It is, that's what we've all said. It's one of the best meals we've ever had on a cruise ship. And we've been on 29 cruises now, so yeah. play Saga, that was amazing. Yeah. And we all agree. A brilliant day was finished off in style with a second helping of Bernie Flint who once again had all the audience in stitches and then we danced and sang the night away from the safety of our own chairs to the Britannia house band. Join us in our final episode where we head to Cherbourg in France and we enjoy more of this fabulous ship. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.